Hey! Here, what we got? Now, this here is the best shine in the county. If this don't clean out bad blood, nothing will. <laughs> Hey, here's to all of us. We did good tonight. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Boy. Yeah, all right. All right. Chili! Damn it, chili! I knew I wasn't going anywhere. I knew that night that I would never leave. So we picked out 412 men and started over. This time around, the government gave us all the money we needed. First, we'll do some baseline blood work to screen out contagion. Only the men with nothing but syphilis will be considered for this study. Then we'll follow up with spinal taps. There may be a problem there. A lot of men don't know what a spinal tap is, and if they think it's not treatment, they won't come in. Well, they have to come in. We have to make them believe that nothing has changed. Are there any ideas? What about you, Nurse Evers? You always seem to have the answer. Um, that would no doubt. Well, Nurse Evers, I'm relying on you. If this program is to be a success, we must all put our best foot forward. Back shots. What's that? Tell them it's back shots. They know about shots. We've given them injections. If we call them back shots, they'll think it's part of the treatment. Okay. So, we'll give them back shots. I don't want you to worry, Willie. Nurse Evers is here to take care of you. Mm -hmm. It's very important that you don't move, especially once the needle has entered the spinal canal. What's what? That? It's part of your back. Don't fret. Okay, you mustn't move then. Okay. Because the needle could damage the nerves that go into your legs. Oh, no, I can't do this. See, I need my legs, Mr. Oh, Elvis. No, no, no Mr. Elvis, I need my legs to dance on. That's I can't do this. That's why it's important for you to lay still, huh? Yeah? You be up and hopping around in those hands. Will it lay down? Come on. It's going to be okay, Will. Just don't move. Be right here with you. Come on, relax. Okay, just so clean you up a little bit. Listen to that music. Yeah, that is so sweet. It must be hard, my plan. <laughs> You know, Dr. Douglas, we got the best harmonica playing in the South, right? You never been. No, you don't say. Mm-hmm. Isn't that true? Hey, how come that needle's so big? I ain't never seen no needle that color, Miss Evers. That's a gold needle. Lay down here. It's real gold? Yeah. It's real gold, Willie. It ain't nothing too good for the color. Don't move, Willie. Okay, now take a deep breath. <laughs> Oh, okay. chili, 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 cold, oh, chili. 
Step third, jump, leap. Very important to stay still, Willie. Willie. All right, we got it. Look. Say, you did good. Yes, come on, Bree. Come on, it's over. It's over. You are a brave man, Willie Johnson. You champ, you know that? You're a real champ. Next. Guess I scared them all away. I guess you're gonna have to round them all up again. Yeah, I guess I do. just like that. Now slaves are free, and we are still burying them in bags. How are we going to bring them back, nurse? I know they're scared, and, and they already have enough pain in their lives, but we have to get them to see that it's for their own good. Maybe if we trusted enough to tell the truth. Made a decision, a wise decision. Now they will get treatment. <laughs> but first we have to get them back, and how are we going to do that? Oh, come on now. You always have good ideas. Sometimes I don't. Money. What about money? Give them each some money. Fifty dollars. Bribe them back? It's life insurance. So they can be buried in a coffin instead of a feed bag. I can always count on you, can I? The bear money got him back all right. I'll be Caleb. I thought sure he was gonna move north like he said. All this belonged to your brother. Mm-hmm. Hold it free and clear, too. So you still thinking about leaving here? <laughs> no, I ain't thinking about leaving here no more. Oh, I can't leave until you finish your treatment. I ain't thinking about no treatment, either. And your family is here, I guess. I ain't thinking about my family, neither. Think about... You and me, Caleb and Eunice. Well, I like that name, Eunice. No, I don't. Never did. It's got a nice in it. Eunice, you nice. <laughs> <laughs> you nice, Eunice. You real nice. <clears throat> Wait, now, you told me I was all right. Wasn't nothing I couldn't do. You are. You didn't just tell me that because it's something you don't want me to know, did no, you? No, it's not you. <sighs> Look here, Eunice, we can't keep teasing like we're still in school now. If you don't want me, I can handle it. I want you, Caleb. You know that. I'm on a different road is all. Ain't no road we can't take together, woman. I can't be with you and have a lie in my heart. What lie? You know? Come on now. Tell me what lie. You can't. 
That's it. That's all you got to say? You can't? <laughs> you finna throw us away for something you can't even tell me? Caleb, I care about you. No, when you care about somebody, you out in the open with them. Now, you, you call it something else. I don't know what else to call it. Sounds like you calling it goodbye. I'm sorry. You sorry? First you can't, now you sorry. You sorry, because you can't. Two words. That's all we are to you? Two words? I can't tell you anymore. Yeah, well, I hope what you're getting is better than what you're giving up. And the years went on. They had said that there would be treatment in six months, but the six months became a year, and the year became two, and then six, and you were just waiting. And in all that time, Miss Evers, you kept the secret? You never told any of the men what was being done to them? Oh, I, I wanted to tell them. I surely did. I just wanted to tell them straight out, you, you're not being treated, but you have to stick with it. So when the money come through, you'll be the first in line. But they said that the, the men wouldn't understand, and then they'd be lost to the program forever, and none of us wanted that, Senator. So we, uh, we rubbed them with liniment instead of the mercury. We gave them aspirins and, and vitamins and everything, I, you know, before you know it, how time passes, it was 10 years had passed and men just hadn't had treatment, but uh, we kept on studying them. But Miss Evers, isn't it true that as early as 1942, penicillin had become widely available as an effective treatment for syphilis? Now, wasn't this made known to you in the study? Yes, we knew it, but there were other medical concerns, Senator. You mix it with saline solution and then you give it by injection. Now tell the men that it, um, it stings. Actually, it hurts like hell, so maybe we should just go ahead and tell them the truth. We do that once in a while. Looks like gold. Well, it's more precious than gold. It saves lives. Now, I want to use this for the blood poisoning case first, then the pneumonia case, and then the men. When will our men get it? Doctor? Well, we're still studying that, but uh, with syphilis, there are potentially some very dangerous side effects. But they'll get it. You could mix this with distilled water, but I prefer saline solution. Now, there are a million units in each vial, which means we'll have to work out the dosage for each case. Thank you, Thank you. Excuse me. Doctor, could you look at these, please? Oh, you know Caleb now sometimes. He just takes off sometimes. He's going to be here. He better be. We're going on soon. Oh! Oh. Oh, oh man. What's up? Willie! Are you all right? Oh. What's wrong with you, Willie? What's wrong? My legs, man. My legs. What's wrong with him? Oh. Oh, man. I'm sorry, Mr. Elvis. I didn't mean to haul out like that. Oh, it's okay to haul out. Oh, man. It's all of a sudden. My legs just give way on me. Really? Uh, we got to I'm head scared. You. I'm scared, Miss Evans. I'm losing it. Oh, no. I'm losing it. You, you know, know I'm losing it. Don't say that, Willie. You the star attraction. 